582 hours since we started this trip. The system remains the same. Taking on work one step at a time but doing the step with consistency even when it gets hard. To get closer to our 100 million silver target and to max out the spec in my gear trees, I start the week with my favorite weapon, the Curse Staff. Our first victim is the spear that I catch in the last two minutes of an abbey. He doesn't have much HP so I turn immediately on him. Usually I don't fight spears because they can purge my boots and then kite me. This time he didn't have time to change his abilities and as he doesn't fight back I cash in 750k towards my goal. This is the build that I used in this fight. You can start with tier 6 and go from there. Before the latest patch came in I also wanted to put a little spec in my bear paws. The next target on this list is a dead giver that doesn't respect my dismounting potential. I missed one of my E abilities but I managed to get the kill as my undead cape rocks. In the same map I assist a carving sword to kill a whispering bow. I wait for the right moment to get dismounted and finish the job. This makes a total of 1.1 million in just 25 minutes of playing. The curse staff never gets old in this game. My next friend that I bank is a battle axe that doesn't time his abilities that well. I let him dismount me away from other rats and from there it's just a matter of time and timing the defensive abilities. My cleric counters his main combo so the fight is won from the start. 400k for the cause. The weakened miss give a good amount of silver. A dagger steals one from me so I wait to get ahead of him and dismount. I get the first laser in and after that I only must be careful about his silence and I win the fight. His main damage combo goes in my cleric robe so I win the fight with almost full HP. 400k donation for our cause. Hit and run is the specialty of the curse staff. I catch a dual sword dismounted in one of the big camps trying to rat a low IP player. I get out of the camp and finish him. Another free 400k. I get in a new map and I see a wisp that disappears after a few seconds. Usually this means that someone is fighting and they drop the wisp to try to mount up. I get there in time and catch a frost and carving fighting. The carving manages to get out but as the frost doesn't reset I let him dismount me and finish what the carving started. Another 450 to the bank. As the new patch came in I wanted to chill a little and took out a new weapon to fame. The blood letter. Regardless of the weapon, when I see someone in a sticky situation, I dismount and go for the kill. This Fist of Avalon tried to run from me, but as I wear the Mobility King, I catch and bank 300k in no time at all. Being almost at the trash floor for the 8 hours in the Misfavor shop, I wanted to try something new. The most appealing to me as a solo player was the Corrupted Dungeon. I took on my light crossbow and made a few runs. My best skill so far in the little time I played was these dead givers which came with a 300k build and I was lucky enough to get a low trash rate. In the following weeks I will also start a new journey in real life. I will move to another country to get training for my next photography job. Hopefully the internet will be okay and I'll be able to play in my free time solo and also with all of you my views. This week we made some activities in the weekend but I forgot to record so I only have footage from my duo session from Hellgate training. If you're a main healer make sure to hit me up. I need a constant partner. Also if you want to join the next activities you can leave your in-game name in the comments and also join the discord server that I'll make sure to pin down. The amount of sweat lords is increasing by the day. First death this week is in an abbey. While waiting on a chest he comes invisible and kills me in seconds. As the cursed staff doesn't have much mobility it's part of the journey so I learned to cope with the loss. Just 1 million in minus in the bank. Even after the nerf if you catch someone off guard using paws you finish them in just a couple of seconds. After almost getting this T8 Arcane, the bear pose comes in and finishes my job. Another minus 1 million.
playing the King of Mobility has certain advantages. You can choose who you fight and when you run. I get caught by a double bladed sweat lord in an abbey, but as I have high mobility I manage to get to the exit and escape while being in combat. At the moment of recording this video I am at T8 skinning and T8 on fiber harvesting, T8 or mining and T4 on wood gathering. And also I maxed out all my curse staff. I have 20 million silver towards my first 100 mil which most likely I'll use to spec my gear next week. I'm new to this game but by applying what I know, what I learned from others and by practicing, step by step I become the best for at least one aspect of this game. If you want more tips on how to win more, check out the video that I left on the right. And remember, always and forever, better support wins.